I understand that the cell danger response is the initiation of cellular dysfunction, but how does this create chronic inflammation with all the downstream effects of it? Good question. The cell danger response is how the cell dysfunction occurs, okay? That helps create a lot of oxidative stress, which damages, let's say, the gut cells, which will start the process of leaky gut syndrome. Depending on what initiates it, let's say, psychological, emotional, you know, uh, spiritual traumas, it will support the creation of pro-inflammatory cytokines, which starts the process of creating inflammation, okay, depending on the root causes. If it's the spike protein, it's interfering with mitochondrial function, which in and of itself prevents the body from healing itself. So once you start the process of, of inflammation, okay, other things get injured, and then they become a reason or a contributor to the inflammation. And after a little while, it's affecting all systems. There is a concept called neuroendoimmunology, where the neurological system, the endocrine system, and the immune system constantly talk to one another because they have the receptors for each other's biomarkers. So if one system goes off, like the immune system with leaky gut syndrome, it's going to, it's going to affect the hormone system. It's going to affect the neurotransmitter system. Okay, And it may not do it all the time, but given time, it will affect those other systems. And even if you go to the endocrine system, it's not going to affect the entirety of the hormones. It may affect the sex hormones first. It may affect the thyroid hormones. It all depends on where the polymorphisms are. That's where you can say, oh, it's going to be thyroid. Right? Why is this important? If you understand this, and let's talk about thyroid. If you understand this, when somebody comes into your office and is wearing a sweater or a jumper and it's 95 degrees out or you know 37 degrees out and they're losing their hair and they're gaining weight for no reason that's hypothyroidism that's the first thing you should think about but in this day and age you have to have a test that shows it this has to be a certain amount of dysfunction before the test is positive okay and people you know doctors are not allowed to treat empirically which is really sad but beyond that person usually has several complaints that involve different systems and sending pot people from one specialist to another to another to another to another just gets confusing because the specialists all well, they're good at what they do aren't talking to one another okay and are only interested in their particular little you know their particular area so it gets to be a quagmire after a little while all right the initiation of it of everything is cell danger response and the response from that depends on the root causes and the genetic predispositions. What's very common and should be treated all the time is leaky gut syndrome because I've seen people's symptoms reduced by 80% in the first month. Um, in the professional uh, lecture, I have, a, I have three case studies. I have a case study of a, of a man who has been having very bad symptoms anytime he exerts himself and it was progressive over time okay but it now is really interfering with his life because it would happen two three four times a day and after i examined him so let's start with the foundational treatment in, in six weeks that wasn't happening anymore because i reasoned that you know he'd been through a lot of treatment you know, a lot of varied types of medical treatments and even alternative medicine treatments, but this was the stone left unturned, okay? So all I had to do was start rebuilding his cellular function, reversing the cell danger response. You know, these are interchangeable things. So, yeah, even if there's a, not a direct line in what you're thinking, think about chronic inflammation. Think about the fact that you have to treat root cause and downstream effects and start at restoring the cellular function. And frankly, you can't go wrong.